We needed a sugar thermometer today, and we sent someone to a, a bakery, and I won't mention the name of the bakery. <laughs> uh, and they didn't know what a sugar thermometer was. <laughs> kid you not. I kid you not. So that for me uh, is insulting, bordering on frightening. Okay. And The best advice I can give a home cook, first of all, don't watch TV. All right, that's what's, uh, that's what's putting everybody off, uh, off track. The home cook now uh, has the uh, spirit and the enthusiasm to do a lot cooler things in the kitchen than they were doing 20, 20 years ago, certainly 30 years ago, okay? Um, home cooks also have an advantage that they have a lot more time to study than professional chefs do. Like I said, most professional chefs, working very long hours and don't have time to study. The home cook has time to study. Study. But study from the right places. Don't buy uh, a cookbook. Buy a chemistry book. Study and know exactly what's going on with, with everything you're doing. Yeah, recipe, recipes are for suckers. Okay, recipes are for, you know, the dimwit, non-professional people who have no concept of what we do in the kitchen. If uh, I have someone on the line and uh, that line cook has to read a recipe while they're preparing something, or they put a little more of this in and they have to compensate by putting a little more of that in, and they can't do it because they're not looking at a book, <clears throat> they have a problem and we have a problem. Um, recipes are less important and technique is everything. We need to know what's happening scientifically when we cook in a pan whether we're using uh, a cooking that is sous vide or we're using cooking that's mylar or a combination of the two, if we're poaching something, confiting something, frying something, baking something, grilling something, everything has a science and a principle behind it. Things have to be a certain temperature before we start cooking, not only after we finish cooking, okay, because it's going to make them better, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So recipes for me don't mean much. We need to know what we're doing and why things are happening.